Hi there, let's talk about five essential products that you'll need for mixed media. So if you are a beginner, this will be a very good video for you. First product that is very important is gesso. Now gesso you can get it in white, uh, black, clear or other colors, but in my opinion the most important is the white one. So you want acrylic gesso, which is a primer, something that you will use on your thin paper to cover it with so you can later work on it with some water-based mediums. This is very important. You can use it for texture because some, like for example this one, are thicker, some are thinner, some are cheaper, some are more expensive. If you are starting, you can get the cheaper one, I think so. Uh, you don't have to invest in a very expensive uh, gesso straight away. But definitely get yourself a jar of gesso. You are going to love it. Number two is acrylic paint. You need something that will bring some color to your works. Uh, in my personal opinion, if I would have 20 pounds, I would rather spend it on six tubes of better quality paint than 20 tubes of not very good paint that will go weird after, you know, a few weeks. But this is your choice. And of course, I can understand that if you are starting your journey, you probably don't have that much money spare and you want lots of colors. So it's your choice, but acrylic paint is a must <laughs> because you will find out that this is a, a medium that you are reaching out for very often, probably every time when you'll be creating your mixed media pieces. If you're not sure which colors to buy, please watch our video about essential colors that you need for mixed media. Number three, in my opinion, is a translucent medium that will bring color to your work as well. So that can be a tin of watercolors or a few tubes of watercolors or some colored sprays, mists many different manufacturers out there. It's really your choice, but get yourself either a tin of good watercolors or a few colors of some sprays and you'll bring this transparency to your projects. And because they're water-based, you'll be able to mix them on your canvases or journal pages with your acrylic paints. Number four is pastels, pencils, something that you can actually hold in your hand and draw with because you will want to do this, I think. You will want to create some nice fancy patterns for your mixed media pieces. And choosing, for example, watercolor pencils will give you an opportunity to also have this watercolor effect. Choosing uh, oil-based uh, pastels like Distress Crayons uh, will give you an opportunity to make some smudges with your fingers. I also very much like water-soluble Neo colors, which are wax-based. So both of these should go as the last layer of your on your work because they won't mix with your water-based mediums. So something that will give you color and something that you can hold, that's definitely a must-have. And now number five, last but not least, very important product, pens, white and black. These are very important. In my opinion, they're like number one almost. They will bring contrast to your works. That will be extra life. You will love the effect that you can get with a white pen and with a black pen, if it's one of the last layers especially. Just remember, don't use them on oily uh, pastels or wet paint because you're gonna ruin them. You can also get yourself some markers if you think that's gonna be something you like, some doodling and colors. But if you are tight on a budget, then these two, white and black, that's a must have. And of course, one more product that you'll need. So maybe we should call it five plus one is some glues. It can be either a glue stick or uh, some wet medium like gel medium, Mod Podge. These are all good depending of course on projects you're gonna do but a glue stick or Mod Podge. These should do. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please subscribe for some more inspirations and help with your mixed media journey.